So good evening everyone. Welcome to the post market analysis video by Intraday Screener. Today Nifty is up by 1.35% and Bank Nifty is up by 0.93%. Both the indices have actually opened gap up. From there we have seen a short covering till 12 o'clock. Again we got a profit booking till 130 and post 145 we got a v-shaped recovery from the opening price in both the indices which is nifty and bank nifty so most of the stocks has given positive closes today fia di cash activity fia stood to be the net sellers in cash segment and they have sold around 203 crores di stood to be the net buyers and they have bought around 1723 crores which is the highest in the past five days if you see the FIA positioning in derivatives, FIAs are having short positions worth of 1,20,000 crores of rupees in derivatives. So we should not be extremely bullish at the current levels of Nifty 50 or Bank Nifty. So IT sector has given the highest positive returns and it is up by 2.83%. One of the reason is IT results started to get published in indian uh, sector companies so especially today we got the results of uh, tcs in which we have seen a growth in revenues profit and also operating profit margin so this is one of the uh, positive sign for it sector stocks so expecting that most of the it sector companies will be giving or posting good positive results so today we have seen the aggressive rally in it sectors followed with energy metals automobile psu banks has given the next highest positive returns cg power fino pb godfrey philip ujivan kef are the top performing stocks and on the other side idea Kemplast, kansai siat fat are the stocks in which we have seen the selling pressure m and m power grid are the top two stocks which you can keep a track of for the next few days of uh, time as we might see some sort of good price movement in these specific stocks as long build up is also happening if you see any sort of good price action in these specific stocks you can take long positions in the stocks so titan and bajaj finance uh, finserv are the two stocks which you can keep a track of for the next few days of time for shorting opportunities as most of the nifty stocks have closed in green and uh, Nifty is up by 1.35%, but Titan have seen, Titan and Bajaj Finsav have seen short build up. So we might see some sort of selling pressure even in the upcoming few days of time. So if you get any sort of shorting opportunities in these specific two stocks, you can try to go and take the action. Let's discuss about the index contributors. So in Nifty 50, 44 stocks out of 50 stocks has given positive closes, out of which Reliance, Infi, TCS, Bharti Airtel, Axis Bank are the top stocks which have contributed positively. And on the other side, Titan, Bajaj Finserv, HDFC Life, Grassing are the stocks which have contributed negatively for Bank uh, Nifty 50. Let's discuss about Bank Nifty. So there is no stock which have contributed negatively today for Bank Nifty. All the stocks has given positive closes, out of which Axis Bank and Indus, uh, Indus and Bank, both together, we can it have contributed more than 35 to 40 percentage of uh, contribution. It has contributed positively for Bank Nifty. So now let's discuss about the important levels based on option chain data in both the indices so the last traded price of nifty 50 is going to be 18500 contract so this is going to be the at the money strike if we observe for the most important support level 18100 level will be acting as a really strong support level for nifty 50 as call sellers were also exiting their positions and also at 18000 level we have seen an aggressive uh, closer of call sellers they are closing their position so this is actually a pretty much good sign that 18000 level will be acting as a really strong support level so if you see the 18100 contract if by any chance market opens gap down we might see an aggressive increase of call sellers at the specific contract and we might see this specific level should be acting as a resistance level for tomorrow if by any chance market opens gap up above 18100 level of approximately more than 50 to 100 points if we might see some sort of uh, gap up to happen in nifty 50 above 18100 level we might see 
a short covering to happen and 18,400, 18,100 level will start to act as a support level. So this is what we can comprehend based on the option chain data of Nifty 50. If you observe the uh, option chain data of Bank Nifty, even here we have clearly seen that call sellers were exiting their positions a bit aggressively and put sellers were increasing their positions. So 42,500 level is going to be the important level that you have to keep a track of. If by any chance market opens gap down, we might see that 42,400 level to act as a resistance level for Bank Nifty and 42,000 level will be acting as a support level if by any chance market opens gap down. If market opens gap up of more than 100 to 200 points in Bank Nifty, we might see that 42,500 level to act as a support level and all the call sellers who are there at this specific point of contract, we might see them to close their positions so that would have been one of the most important thing that we can observe tomorrow if market opens gap up then we might see short covering to happen in the market and bank nifty will further move in the upside direction so this is what we can um, interpret based on the option chain data of nifty bank so now let's discuss about the important levels in uh, bank nifty and nifty based on price action so yeah in the past videos we have clearly mentioned that if we want to see for buying opportunities we see above 40, 42,355 level and you can clearly see that we have seen this specific at this specific point of place we have seen the retest to happen and we got an aggressive rally till 42,686 which was one of our important level which we have discussed in the earlier video so when we have seen a clear downtrend Till 42,355, again, exactly at the same point of level, we have seen the V shaped recovery. So, this is how the uh, levels will be working. So, try to be a bit careful when you are observing the important levels that we are marking out here. If you want to see for buying opportunities in Bank Nifty, you have to wait until 42,686 level to break. Here, if you can clearly see that head and shoulder sort of pattern is uh, forming out. If 42,686 level is broken, then we might see an aggressive upside movement in Nifty Bank. Then uh, uh, what we have already discussed in the uh, when we are discussing about the option chain data that if we might open gap up, we might see some sort of aggressive short covering to happen in the market. And also based on price action, we are expecting that we might see some sort of good price movement above 42,686 which is around 100 points from the last year price of uh, Nifty Bank. If we want to see for selling opportunities only below 42,355, we see for selling opportunities in Nifty Bank. Now let's discuss about the important levels of Nifty 50. So in Nifty 50, we have seen some sort of uh, false price action or false breakouts so let us mark the important levels based on pure price action here so these are the standard deviation levels which we have uh, shown in the left side of uh, nifty 50 charts if you want to see for proper price action levels try to observe in the right side so even here we can clearly see that short uh, head and shoulder sort of pattern is forming Around 18,145, we might see a good upside movement as also based on the option chain data, it suggests that above 18,150, we might see some sort of short covering to happen if market opens gap up. Especially you have to consider that specific point, we have to open gap up, then only we might see a good amount of short covering especially, which is a bit more stronger. Below 18,027, we might see a clear sell off and we might even touch 17,800 level in the upcoming few days of time if 18,027 level is broken. I guess even based on option chain data, 18,000 level was acting as a really strong support level. So below 18,000 or 18,027 level, uh, 27, the, uh, these specific 27 points of zone will be important zone for Nifty 50 even for tomorrow and also for the upcoming few days of time. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video guys. This is it for the video. Thank you guys.